Howdy guys, it's Tachi and welcome back to more Goodbye Deponia. We gotta take a look. Cletus? No, wait. You're one of my clones, right? Cleverly disguised as Cletus. Oh, please. Don't tell me there's more than one of you now. <laughs> Very good. You've got your role as a sleazy dimwit down pat. Ugh. Yes. What you said. So, if you are me, how were they able to capture you? Same as you, I suppose. Yeah, the way they captured me was much cooler. And I've already got a plan how we can get out of here. You can spare yourself the effort. I've tried everything. Yeah, maybe, but I have a bunch of new tricks up my sleeve that you don't even know. Oh, <laughs> even though we're the same person? Yeah, watch and learn. So his name is obviously Rufus. A rug in a prison cell? How she-she can you get? Hey, hello? Yoo-hoo! What do you want? Stop making such a racket in there! I'm hungry! That's probably because you never touched your breakfast. Hang on, I'll open the food slot. Uh, I need the bathroom. Again? Fine. But this time, don't use so much toilet paper. We've already cleared the store. Do you mean that if someone were to prevent the destruction of the planet, the Organon would be out of toilet paper? That would be correct, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. How's that for an incentive to save Deponia? Yeah, I want to talk to my lawyer. Who's your lawyer? Well, uh, actually, I, I was going to defend myself. Whatever you like. Then go ahead and talk to yourself, but no longer than ten minutes, understood? Let me out of here! Forget it! I demand a clean cell! This is a clean cell, and I'm very proud to say so. We have all the latest cleaning technology. The blankets are lint-free, and the toilet fresheners are dirt repellent. And I shampooed the rug earlier today. Wow! Life in the service of the Organon gets pretty boring, huh? Oh, you have no idea. I'm not feeling so well. <laughs> I think I'm getting sick. No, I don't care, as long as you don't barf on the rug. Ah, uh, nothing. Then don't bother me. Ah, so if you notice over here, I didn't notice this last time, but he is playing Pong. Okay, let's have a look. Coffee, a bagel, and pepper. What? No jam. That's a violation of the Geneva Convention. So let's take the breakfast. Ah, uh, Dentosaurus. Put a dino on your toothbrush. Wow, everybody now, uses the same toothbrush. Somehow I thought the Organon would use a different brand. And a toothbrush. And, and a urinal cake. Here? A toilet freshener. Wasn't very smart of the Organon to provide me with this essential gem of chemical warfare. Wait a minute! If it isn't my old toothbrush from part one! How did that <laughs> get there? I don't suppose they're planning a spin off. Ah. It's a lousy substitute for cream cheese, but it'll have to do. A spin-off, maybe. <laughs> Inspired recipe. <laughs> they say you should brush your teeth after you eat, but they don't say how long after. So, here's my tip. The longer you wait, the more meals you can cover in one go. Huh. I never thought of it that way. Huh. Tooth wasn't there... So let's connect a few of these things. This prison food is an affront. I mean, who likes sesame? Ah, uh, Dentosaurus. Now that somehow I thought the or Hmm. Wait a <gasps> How did that- I don't- This prison f I mean- What is that supposed to be? <laughs> this is all part of my escape plan. A bagel? What are you going to do with that? Escape through the hole? You know you'd <laughs> never fit, right? Just wait and see. I'm going to take a holistic approach. <laughs> hmm. What do we have? 
What do we need to do now? Ah, cream cheese. I think now we can. What is that supposed to be? A bay? What are you going to escape? You know, just wait. I'm gonna take. Hmm? This prison. I mean. This prison. I mean. Ah. Huh. Tidy bot, you old dirtbag, you. Nice to see you again. Hey, is that a way to greet an old buddy? Really? So we can take the dust bag. And let's combine the dirt, the, the dirt with the bagel. Ah. Uh. What is that supposed to be? <laughs> One guess. It's our ticket to freedom. You will eat the slightly adulterated bagel and then pretend to be sick, which should come naturally. And when they take you to sick bay, I will come forth from my hiding place and save us over my dead body. You will eat the bagel and I will save us. Yeah, actually, why not? I'm kind of hungry anyway. No, wait, was that a trick? Just so you could have my food, you rotter. I'm on to you. Give me that bagel. <laughs> oh. Mmm. I'm feeling a little. Uh. I think I'm going to. <laughs> what have you done? You idiot. You poisoned me! <laughs> Bravo! Very convincing. Didn't think you had it in you. <laughs> but uh, you better save your method acting for the guard. Especially your complexion. It's it's really good. Yoo-hoo! I feel sick. Is that supposed to be me? Who else? Why are you disguising your voice? Oh, trust me. I'm an excellent voice impersonator. What? But Oh, shush. Why is it now? If you keep bothering me, I will... What the? You toe rag! What have you done to my nice rug? Off with you to sick bay, right now! <laughs> Damn! Now I have to air out the cell! <laughs> Mission accomplished. That was easier than I thought. Too bad there wasn't a big chase sequence on jet skis, though. But we still have our toothbrush. Boo! Yeah! <laughs> Sleeping like a baby, which is actually a good thing. Ah, so we have a pneumatic I've always tube. Loved pneumatic tube systems, even though they're not suitable for sending large amounts of bread dough. So let's take a look over here. We got us a cover. Oh, a terminal. Yeah. This doesn't make much sense if I haven't got the appropriate application form. Application form 27 Yurt. Application for A. Medical assistance in case of job related injuries induced by terminal maintenance work, reference number Yurt 75. B. A screwdriver, sharp edged, to be used in terminal maintenance work, reference number HOLA 55. And C. A replacement lead type Yurk for defective application <laughs> terminals, reference number Yurk uh, 122. So let's use it on the printer. So far, so good. Now, what am I going to apply for? Let's get the screwdriver. Hola 55. There. And what else can we do? To send something through the tubes, I first need one of these handy capsules. Application terminal only approved for filling in application forms with the serial number 27 ERC. Huh. Huh, nothing. I guess the door only opens for the Organon. Let's go back here. Oh, look, we're underneath the thing. So let's try in here, I guess. Shh. 
This is still not fast enough, Oppenbot. Ulysses must not get suspicious. I want to be there when he learns that the army he was going to blow up with this filthy planet is on board. And will take over Elysium under my command. Uh, Ulysses isn't stupid, Bailiff. He's stupid enough to think that 11,000 Organons would just volunteer to die submissively. Yes, that is stupid. So, when am I getting my copy of the Ascension Codes? Don't be silly, Oppenbot. You will stay here, of course. Ah, yes, of course. 11,000 Organons. So that's what Argus was talking about. Huh, I never believed for a moment that he wanted to save Deponia. And now, he's got the Ascension Codes. I've got to hurry. He's already bringing his troops aboard. Another problem that I need to take care of later. Hmm. Ah, oh, look who it is. Am I intruding? Rufus, I'm overjoyed to see you. You have come just in time. And who have we here? Another fellow fighter in our battle against oppression? This is Rufus. I told you about him. Wow, really? The Rufus? Now, if that isn't a good omen for our enterprise, I'm Cowboy Dodo. You may know me from the local radio. And here we have Cindy, Hottie, and Cutis. <laughs> he remembers our names. <laughs> Shh. I don't want to miss a word. Okay, Cindy, listen up everyone. Hottie, and I'm Cutis. the head honcho around here, right? So, what do you want me to do? What's the big plan? We are directly above Bailiff Argus's office. We believe that the Ascension Codes are hidden there. Therefore, we wanted to lower Cowboy Dodo on a rope so he could get his hands on them. I understand, within the usual tolerance. But I'm here now, so move aside and make room for me. <laughs> I like this guy. Why don't we just take a vote? I'm for Rufus. <laughs> I'm for me too. I, I just don't know. No, let Cowboy Dodo do it. He's the best man for the job. He's the best man, period. And Janosch votes for me, of course. Well, it's a draw then. But before we get into a fight over this, remember that manning the crank is also an important job. The yeah. crank? I'm not your crank ape. Forget it. I demand a new count. Someone is still missing, you know. I'll be right back. <laughs> so, let's go to the sewers now. And now we can actually go in here and explore a little bit. Oh, and the kids are following us. Hey, didn't I tell you not to come toddling after me? I am on a dangerous adventure. But we need your help. Yeah, and I told you, this is not for children. You could wind up in a plasma skirmish. <laughs> Or be eaten right here on the spot by that witch. She looks very hungry. Well, I never. I <laughs> won't stand for such insinuations. I do not eat children. Oh, yeah? Then what are you doing here? I collect old bottles and sell them to the sewers in. There's a pub down here? Excellent! I could really... Wait a second. You wouldn't happen to have found... A container with a green liquid in it. Yes. And I got the five Zlotties for it. Fantastic. You see, Goal, I told you I'd rescue you. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have some mushrooms. Ow. <laughs> ah, so pretty much so we can't do anything with the mushrooms. Let's talk to the old woman. Hello again, unfair lady. Ah, the young father is back. I already told you, they aren't mine. They seem to think otherwise. Y yeah, but I, I didn't sign up for this. Oh, I believe you. If you want some good advice... 
Mama Cosima's hand crochet Johnny's are extremely tear resistant. <laughs> Where's the exit? From the sewers, there isn't one. <laughs> Those who wind up down here are damned to remain here forever. Forever! Forever! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> she you sure know, does sound like a witch. Of thick for someone who isn't a witch. Sorry, ever since I stopped taking the pill, I've had these strange mood swings. Where did you take the nucleic acid again? I sold it to the sewers in for the five zlotties. Leaf says it's some kind of super fertilizer. But it was my super fertilizer! How was I supposed to know that? After all, decent fertilizer gets flushed into the sewers all the time. And mm. it's rather unusual for people to come by later and lay claim to she it. She has a point. So you have five zlotties? Yes. All five. Huh? There isn't a lot of money here in the sewers. To be more precise, there are exactly five Zlotties. And at the moment, they belong to me. Hmm. Sounds like a very manageable, stable currency system. It was, until hedge funds and speculation in the financial markets led to massive deficits in current accounts. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. I, I, I see. You wouldn't happen to be interested in some tasty little kids. Oh, and what a coincidence. They cost exactly five Zlotties. But, Mr. Rufus, you can't just sell us to a stranger. Hush now. Grown-ups are talking. Don't worry, boy. I have no intention of letting some random idiot calm <laughs> a bunch of children <laughs> up on me. I don't want to end up like my mother. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. Tasty little children. Tasty I little children. I already told you, I'm not interested in your brats. If I wanted to, I could have a whole grain silo full of the things. But I decided to pursue a career instead. <sighs> Will you lend me your five Zlotties? No. I want to keep them. Oh, come on. Don't be that way. I mean, what good is all the wealth if you don't share it with your friends? Very simple. I love it when people make monkeys of themselves for me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what was that? I'm making a monkey of myself so that you'll give me the five Zlotties. Sounded more like a rusty water pipe to me. Does that mean I humiliated myself for absolutely nothing? No, don't worry. Before you can humiliate yourself, you first have to attain mm -hmm. a certain standard. There actually is a dancing monkey. You mean the organ grinder's monkey? I've seen it. It's a miserable monkey. It can't even dance. I'll keep can't my money. Can't even dance. I've got to go. But why? We were just having fun. And uh, uh, wait a moment. Did the water here just get warmer? <laughs> like I said, I've got to go. Ciao. Mm, let's go back here. And they're following along. Ah, you're nuts, Ralphie. Why? Just because I decided to become a vegetarian? That's exactly why. After all, you're a slime monster. And slime monsters eat children. I can change, you know? Yeah. <laughs> You'll never stick with it. Like that business with your correspondence course. Yeah, you'll see. You'll well, see. then enjoy your dinner. As for me, I'm gonna toss a couple of kitty arms and the barbecue. Do that. I'm gonna take a nap. Yeah, try not to leave your mouth open <laughs> so wide this time. Otherwise, a couple of kids will wind up floating down your throat. Ha ha ha! Hey, yeah, screw you too. <laughs> what do you say now? This is definitely an ideal spot for a good night's sleep. Are you sure? Of course. It's out of the wind, it has a roof, and there are places to sit. What else could one ask for? Well, it has a certain menace, shall we say? It is good. 
You said it, Gritchin. Are there any guarantees that there are no dangerous monsters lurking in the dark? Monsters? <laughs> You're such a bunch of idiots. There's no such thing as monsters. Except, of course, for that giant insect that almost killed me a little while ago. Oh, you should have seen its teeth and those long legs. Disgusting. <laughs> it still creeps me out when I think about it. But that was over there, somewhere on the other side of those dark, far-apart pipes. <laughs> <laughs> Where was I? You were trying to explain to us why this is a good place to spend the night. Oh, yeah, spend the night. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's, it's perfect, isn't it? But it's dark and cold. Whoa, whoa there. Complain, complain, complain. Ah, so there's really... I don't want to deal with any of this stuff right now. We'll do that later when we can actually do something. So let's head over here. After the children do what they have to do. To the leper colony. Oh, such a funny little monkey. I'm not a monkey. Oh, it talks. Do you know any other tricks? I could smash your nasal bone up into your brain if you want me to. Wow, I was thinking more along the lines of, you know, flinging poo, something amusing like that. Uh... How much does it cost to see the monkey dance? Five zlotties. And if I give it a peanut? Hey, I am not a monkey, <laughs> and the price is not negotiable. Wow, it can talk. Okay, let's say two peanuts. You can't negotiate with All people right. like that. They only know one language. Fisticuffian. Fisticuffian. So, I'll see you next time. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. This is Tachi signing off. Have a good day.